Alrighty. It's a nice day. It is a very nice day. What is up? It's your boy Ang here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video man solo glitch and today, today we got a fun one, today we got an exciting one, today we've got a banger. I just realized how much my hair is moving in that last clip. I definitely need a haircut uh, right about now. But nonetheless, we're not here to be a beauty channel, although we are looking very, very nice. What we're talking about in today's video is getting my CV axle to stop leaking. Now, if you don't know my last video, well, not my last video. The video before that was announcing that my CV axle was actually leaking after getting the East Coast gear supply bushing installed. If you haven't seen that video, I don't recommend it. It was a very depressing video, okay? I try not to be depressing on this channel at all, but boys, it got to me. And girls. Oh, the rain's coming down. The rain is coming down. So we're going to have to be switching scenes around quite a bit because Virginia does not like to decide whether it wants to rain, snow, whatever. They don't know what they're doing. So let's talk about what happened. I got the East Coast gear supply bushing installed at the same time as I got my lift installed just to prevent any vibrations down the road. Now it actually lasted for like two weeks. After two weeks of getting installed, I started to realize like little oil spots all over my driveway and I was like, huh, what is that? I wasn't 100% sure, so of course I'm not gonna just accuse somebody. Another week goes by and I'm like, okay, this is everywhere I'm parking, there's oil stains. So of course I decide to look around and I don't see nothing. I go visit my mom and dad, but as I'm going, I start to smell like burning, like a burning smell and I'm like, huh, that is not good. I get to my mom's house, she wasn't there, she comes inside and she's like, hey, your car smells like it's burning. The very next day, I installed the bull bar. I realized that the CV axle was leaking. So, so I called the shop, I was like, hey, uh, we're leaking, buddy. If you guys want me to do a review on the shop, I'll do it. Let me know I can do it from start to finish just so you guys know how the process goes. I don't really like to tear anybody down, but if you guys want to know, I will let you know. I'll upload it on a Saturday just so it doesn't get in the way of our normal videos. So that's where we left off on the last video. I left off on, I'm going to give the shop a call, see what happens then. So I called the shop on a Monday. I didn't get it in until Saturday, but that was my choice because I realized it wasn't leaking too horrendously bad. It could wait till Saturday. So we're picking up on Saturday. First, I want to thank everybody who reached out, who commented, Aang, how's the truck, so on and so forth. I, as well as the truck, appreciate it very, very much. So we ended up taking it to the shop. They opened up at eight. I called them and I was like, okay, I can get there early if you need me to. 7.30, I show up on Saturday morning after an hour drive. So we get to the shop, right? I asked the gentleman working there, I'm like, bro, is there anywhere I can go get some food? He's like, yes, sir, you can. It's right over yonder. It was literally like a two minute walk. I get there, I'm eating food. We spent an hour in that diner expecting it to take maybe four to five hours of work. Uh, when we got out the diner, pleasantly surprised the truck was done i was like hey we're all good to go so after conversating with the gentleman for a little bit i let him know like bro i'm rather far away are you sure it's good to go he says yeah we're a-okay so i decided to drive home i didn't check it i was like okay i'll take their word for it i'm driving home i didn't realize how far i had gone i was 20 minutes away from home traffic started to pile up so i was like okay let me check it out now let me pull over and check it from the front to the back of my truck oil was everywhere just when i thought it couldn't get any worse it got way way worse so let me show you guys what we're working with i'm not, there's nothing to show you up there but back here look at this so this is what the back of my tacoma is looking like okay looks normal it's dirty i just watched this on sunday it's monday guys i'm not gonna cry about it but look at this you can't see it as much but there's oil stains i guess because i washed a truck but there is oil stains all across it it was bad way worse than the first time it was installed it poured oil all underneath the undercarriage everywhere on the lower control arms it was all over this cross member all the way down the truck at that point i'm freaking out so at this point i'm 40 minutes away i call the dude i'm like bro this is no bueno like it is leaking way worse than when it was when i got there he didn't seem the happiest but he was willing and that's all you need where there's a will there's a way. He tells me to bring it in and we get to working. So he takes off the tire. He starts looking. He's like looking at the seal. The seal's placed in there properly from our knowledge, but this is where things get tricky. The seal does not need to go all the way in. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I'll do my best. So inside the Tacoma, where the bushing goes, it has to go in this hole. Stop being naughty. My mom watches this channel. Leading into that axle, there's a little groove right here. Okay, that groove is thicker just right here than it is in there so what happens with the seal is if you slam it all the way in oil leaks why i don't know it made sense when i was told this on saturday 
But now I'm not really understanding, but it works, so I don't care. So what we did was, was we moved the seal a little bit further out and it was able to sit right on that outer liner. And what happened was no more oil gets out. So I'm proud to announce that we are no longer leaking and we're A-OK. -okay. So you guys have no idea what I was doing, okay? Friday night, I was looking for forerunners. Friday night, I was looking for shops to re-gear the truck. I was thinking, okay, if the differential is ruined or something, I have to re-gear it. Like, I'm just gonna re-gear it and have a shop take care of it themselves. So I was like, okay, let me look up nitro gears. And I was ready, like I was ready to place an order and get them shipped and then just go and get them installed. I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy the forerunner, strip this down to stock, and then just trade it in, leave it OEM, and whatever. Saturday comes along, we got it taken care of. So that's a very, very big plus. I no longer am gonna re-gear it, not yet. And I also am not buying a forerunner yet. In that video, there was two things that were concerning me. One was that orange stuff coming out of the differential. That is OEM, that's completely stock factory. Second was there was oil dripping from here. As you guys can see, there is no oil anywhere. There is a bunch of oil here. It's just built up, but underneath here, there is no oil at all. So we are good to go, boys. This is, of course, only two days after the new seal has been put in. So after miles and after testing, we will go ahead and give you guys an update on how it is holding up. Hopefully, hopefully good news. So that's where we're at. No Mod Monday. One, because car parts is the worst place to order parts from ever. But two, because we've been stressed out dealing with this. Guys, I've been so stressed. I couldn't even sleep. The money I was about to spend on re-gearing is now opened up for something else. The money I was gonna spend on a down payment for the Forerunner has now opened up. So with that being said, we have some money to spend on modifications. So Mod Monday should, I hope, continue on Monday of next week. That's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. If you have any questions about the East Coast gear supply, bushing, swap, anything, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. But other than that, it's been your boy. I'm out like an Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Single tomorrow. Peace.